Welcome to this video, which is intended for people who have little or no programming experience. In this video, we'll write your first program to make your B5 robot move forward for time autonomously using the C++ in VEX Coding Studio. On September 13, 2018, shortly after the V5 system was released for shipping, Jesse Fott from the Carnegie Mellon Robotics Academy produced a series of webcasts showing people how to transition from Robot C to VEX Coding Studio for the V5 system. On this slide, there's a hyperlink to the YouTube video of his week one webcast. You'll also find the link for this presentation in the comments below, and this will give you a live link to the webcast. This video will take you step by step through the procedures you'll need to complete and run this program on your robot. If you've not downloaded the VEX Coding Studio, please go to the link on this slide and download the program. Once you've downloaded it, you can either go to your programs or double click the shortcut on your desktop. The VEX Coding Studio has three programs in it, ModKit, VEX C++, and C++ Pro. In this video, we're gonna use the VEX C++ because although ModKit is a total drag and drop language and could program the same action on your robot, the program would look vastly different. The VEX C++ is the next level up for beginners. It will look the most like the program in the Carnegie Mellon Robotics Academy webcast. And in addition, at this time of the video, there is no competition template available for the mod kit. So any VEX Robotics competition teams could not use it in a competition. So let's start by clicking on the VEX C++ button. Now click choose. This is the robot configuration portion of the program. Let's start by dragging a motor into the workspace. Now click on the motor. The Carnegie Mellon webcast have a motor called left motor. So change the name of the motor to left motor. The words are case sensitive. So be sure to be careful when you're typing it in. In future programs, it may be better to include the word drive in your motor name, because if you have a left motor on your left and a left motor on your drive, it could get very confusing. But for this program, we're going to keep it so that everything is as close to the Carnegie Mellon video as possible. Click on the number symbol, or as some refer to the pound symbol. For this video, we're going to use the configuration for the standard V5 claw bot. So click on select port 1 to connect the left drive motor to the brain. If you have your left drive motor plugged into a different port, simply click on that port number. Now drag over another motor. Click on this motor. Name this motor right motor. Click on the pound sign. Click on port 10 on the brain to assign the right drive motor to port 10. Click on the settings icon on this motor. Click on the reverse box because forward on the right motor is the mirror image of forward on the left motor. Before we go any further, let's save the robot configuration and the program by clicking on the selector triangle. Let's call this program Move Forward for Time. Click the Save option. Now navigate to a location you'd like to save this program and click the Save button. Now click on the Text button. Hover over the bar between the windows and then click and drag it wider. Then scroll down the window until you find the motor options. To 
Type in the comment as it appears in the webcast program. Select the motor control command which looks most like the command in the webcast program. Then click and drag it onto the line under the comment. The motor commands are found under actions. Next change the word motor to left motor and change the RPM to PCT. You'll notice once the motor has been changed to left motor, the word spin will become blue and you'll have an active command. Now repeat those steps by dragging another motor command over, edit the motor to right motor and change the RPMs to PCT. Now type in the second comment from the webcast onto the next line. Next scroll down and drag the task sleep 1000 command onto the line under the comment. Edit the 1000 millisecond command to read 3000 and then type in the third comment from the webcast onto the line below. Now drag the motor stop break type coast command onto the line just below the comment. Edit the word motor to left motor and once again you'll see the command stop turn blue indicating that it's an active command. Repeat these steps by dragging another motor stop brake type coast onto the line below and edit the motor to read right motor. Now let's save our program by clicking on the selector triangle and clicking save. Now you've written your first program which will start both motors spinning at 50% power in the forward direction. It will keep these motors spinning for 3000 milliseconds or 3 seconds and then it will stop the motors with a brake type coast which will allow the motors to spin freely after they stop. For more information about brake types please see my YouTube video on brake types. Be sure you have your USB cord plugged into your V5 brain and your computer. Plus, be sure you have your V5 system turned on. Now click the Compile and Download icon. Once the green box appears, indicating that your program was successfully downloaded to the V5 brain, you're ready to try out your new program. Be sure to unplug the USB cable and place your robot on the floor. Then there are two ways in which you can launch your program. First, you can remove the clear plastic cover from your V5 brain and then touch the run arrow on the touch screen. The second way to launch your program is to turn on your V5 controller and press the right arrow button. When the word programs appears on the screen, press the A button. You should now see move forward for time on the screen. Press the A button again. Once the word run appears on the screen, you only need to press the A button and you'll have your first autonomous program run on your robot. Congratulations! You have just written and launched your first program on the V5 system using the VEX Coding Studio. Now comes the fun part. You can change your program and experiment to see what happens. Try things like changing the 50 PCT to other numbers between 0 and 100 percent. Try changing the forward spin command to reverse. Try changing the length of the task sleep from 3000 to other numbers. Try changing the PCT to RPM, but remember to check what the color of your gear cartridges are you have in your motor because this will affect the maximum number of RPMs you can use. We hope you enjoyed this video and best of luck in your future programming. If you found this video useful, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. There are many videos of competitions and instructions. 
Until next time, remember you can always follow a program, but you won't be successful until you run with it.